It is Monday, July 28th. Thank you for being with me. Several areas we're watching for areas of rain as expected around Puerto Rico yesterday. We had some of the rain that'll be on the move toward parts of the DR Haiti, Jamaica. We're going to see a rain chance bumping up. This blob here uh, looks a little alarming, but I've been watching it. It should, uh, for the most part, just kind of lift its way up to the uh, north. And there's a tropical st storm in the uh, central Pacific near Hawaii. I want to show you that. So plenty of areas to uh, cover in a strong tropical wave coming off of the coast of Africa now. Here's a zoom down look for us, Nicaragua, some rainstorms. I'll slide into Mexico with that. You see a little flare up near the Cayman Islands. We're going to see this tropical wave slide its way across Haiti and the DR back through Jamaica and the Cayman Islands today. Stronger storms in Cuba, not for all of us, but they are going to be popping at times. And then I'll show you a round of dust moving in and watching out for some of that rain just off toward the uh, east and even a few scattered showers are on Trinidad and Tobago now, but a little bit more up to the east and back toward the northeast of Guyana, keeping an eye on that. So busy time of year, right? But I'm not seeing anything that is definitely uh, going to uh, turn into a hurricane or even a tropical storm quite at this point. We swing out here. Here's that blob I'm watching there, but not seeing any development out of that. Here is that strong tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. Why am I paying attention to that? Well, it has a chance of developing. It's a low chance as of now, but as it marches across, it has a chance of developing, but it's got a buddy with it. As it marches across the Atlantic, it's also going to have some dry air and dust with it, and for us, that is a good thing. The dust as a whole, some of us need to get rid of the dust, especially in the Northeastern Caribbean, and get some rain in here, but as far as tropical development goes, we don't need a hurricane, uh, no doubt, so hopefully the uh, dust will kind of eat away at that. Now, here's a look at the European model and the variations of the European model. I know it's a, a little bit of a different map, but the European model is only showing a slight chance of something trying to flare up and kind of lifting its way back toward uh, the north and northwest as we get into the upcoming weekend. A uh, couple of, I know this map gets a little crazy. It just gives me a good idea of where to watch for signs of development, but even these signs of development here, it's not too impressive because of the dust I mentioned yesterday. Let me show you that, and we'll see together throughout the week what kind of wins out? Does the tropical wave develop or does the dust win out? So let me, here we are in the Caribbean. Let me just take you out in time here. This is by the weekend. I'm going to stop the clock right here on Saturday. This shading in here, this uh, pink or purple shading in here, that's some of the dust. It's not too terribly thick. The thicker dust would be some of those yellows you're seeing there over by Africa. But with it, in this, you have some dry air in sinking air, so slightly more stable atmosphere, and right in through here at the same time is going to be that tropical wave that is now coming off the coast of Africa. So with this dust around, it may help prevent it. The timing may work out. Again, some of us are just done with the dust, causes issues with breathing, but the timing may work out to prevent some development out of this. And this here is the Atlantic Basin, the Gulf Caribbean, and the Atlantic over the next 10 days. And these brighter colors are where you could see a chance of a tropical storm developing, or at least a big spin. Sometimes up in the North Atlantic, you, you get those big spins around, but not tropical in nature. But it is not showing uh, much in the way of tropical storm development at this point. About three days ago, the European model was saying, hey, this new wave was going to be a tropical storm. As of now, it's kind of backed off. None of the models, the American, European, Canadian, and the ICON model, none of them have this area, <coughs> excuse me, developing into a tropical storm. With that said, as it marches across the Atlantic, I need to watch it because those water temperatures are warm and it will still give some of us the potential of flooding late this week into the weekend, depending on how it kind of all shakes out. So here's the American model, and it is very similar to all of the other models. So here's that strong tropical wave coming off of Africa. Here's that little blob north of Antigua, Barbuda, north of Anguilla. And here's an area south of Mexico. As I mentioned, I'm going to expand out here into the Pacific in just a moment. But you see this area here, not a whole lot with it. But look what happens here by the time we get into later in the week. This is Thursday. Here's the spot we're watching, you see this green shading out around it? That's not rain. That's actually some of the dust and dry air the model's picking up on. So you can see how they kind of come across the Atlantic together, right? Some of that dust and dry air is right around this tropical wave, and that may help limit some of the development. In fact, by the time we get into Friday, it's kind of hard to find just a tropical wave with some rain and thunderstorms approaching us 
in the Eastern Caribbean. And then as we go forward here into uh, the upcoming weekend, this here is by Sunday, and you see some additional rain that will be possible. And of course, as we go out on time, I'll be able to break that down. Does more of this rain lift to the north? Does it move in for us watching that? Plus, I do want to keep an eye on this area here off the southeast coast of the United States. Uh, I mentioned that yesterday. There's going to be a couple fronts kind of diving down. A lot of rain building up in here. Sometimes you could get something trying to spin up in this area. So I'll also be monitoring that by the time we get into the upcoming weekend. Now let me swing back to today. Then I'll lift to the north with severe weather and then swing back toward the Pacific with a tropical storm. Here's that moisture building in Central America. But look at those storms firing up. Not for all of us, but in Jamaica, Haiti and the DR. If you get a storm today, if we get one, it could be on the strong side. Gusty winds. I'll be watching your comments throughout the day. Even tomorrow for us in Jamaica, some of us drying too hot, others getting a couple spotty storms around. Same thing, eastern Cuba for tomorrow with those storms flaring up. And then by Wednesday, hit or miss storms around. Watching that even across the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. But spotty showers and storms, not a lot. Watching this moisture here building south of Mexico. And then by Wednesday, drawing our attention to this, this is the dust. And then this here would be that next tropical wave. And we'll be watching this starting to work our way as we get toward the end of the week and the upcoming weekend. Now lifting to the north and then we'll swing out into the Pacific. Here's that blob that is to the north of us in the Caribbean today into the southeast of Bermuda. Watching out for storms here, Ontario, Quebec. But these storms here coming out of Manitoba are going to be aggressive. Uh, the Dakotas back through Minnesota, parts of Wisconsin, parts of Iowa. By tonight, a tornado threat in this. So giving you the heads up, this sector could see some severe weather. And watching parts of Mexico and New Mexico uh, cover everyone, I do the best I can to do that because some areas just get left out, I know, uh, in other forms of uh, media. This here could lead to some flooding. So parts of Mexico again, back through uh, parts of uh, Mexico itself, here are those storms pulling back toward uh, Quebec, heavier storms uh, back toward the plains again. In the southeast U.S., seeing a better chance of rain and storms by tomorrow. Then by Wednesday, you can see this moisture here generally to the east of Bermuda. A couple showers clipping by New England and the Atlantic region of Canada. Another round of storms watching parts of Wisconsin, Michigan. Uh, back through uh, Illinois, Indiana could see some storms over toward Missouri, but still this flow in here. So Arizona, New Mexico monitoring that chance of some uh, heavier weather and that potential of flooding and again back through parts of Colorado. Now here's the expanded view because it gets busy across the board and I like to track where things are. Here's Hawaii. This here is a new tropical storm, Iona, and that is going to stay to the south of Hawaii, staying to the south of the islands. Here's Mexico watching the southern coast. There should be some development as we go forward throughout the week. So as we get into midweek, this is Wednesday, you see this tropical storm staying down to the south. Keep an eye, another little spin back behind it. Here's all of this moisture south of Mexico. I always watch to see if anything does want to curl up to the north. But as we get toward the end of the week here, you can see this area may develop, should stay toward the south and west of the Abba here as we work our way toward the end of the week. So we're starting to get some bigger tropical waves in the Atlantic Basin and an uptick in activity across uh, the uh, uh, eastern and central Pacific. Here we are in the central Pacific. Here are the Hawaiian Islands and you see this tropical storm should get even stronger into a hurricane the next couple of days but stay to the south right over water right where we like it. Now spotty showers and storms breaking out. I mentioned parts of the southeast especially by tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Look at Cuba, not as much for us again in the Bahamas. Look at uh, Cuba swinging back toward parts of Jamaica, Haiti, and the DR. Please be careful with some of those river crossings in Haiti and the DR where we get those downpours. There's going to be quick runoff, strong storms possible in Cuba, still not as much in the Cayman Islands, and hit or miss storms in Jamaica. Better chance. And again, some of us dry. You'll see the storms in the distance. Winds will be picking up, but you may just stay dry. But others getting hit with some of those strong storms. Leave your location in the comments of what you got going on uh, as we go throughout the day. Still some hit or miss storms possible as we get back toward uh, Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin 
Desert Islands, a couple storms will be a possibility. And then swinging down to the south, not quite as much. Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago. Watching out interior Venezuela for rain. Guyana, a little bit more rain, not as much as we work our way into Suriname. Eastern sections of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Panama Central and Western sections. Better chance of some higher totals over 100 millimeters of rain. Spotty Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. But Mexico City to the west, that's where there's going to be some heavier rain around. That's where we'll monitor for some flooding. And I mentioned the southeast U.S. Watch out for some storms. If you get some, uh, two to three inches of rain will be a possibility over the next few days. But watching this feed of moisture, again, uh, northwestern Mexico, higher chance of flooding, rushing down the uh, higher terrain, and then lifting back toward uh, parts of uh, New Mexico for that potential of flooding. Watching the seas, a bit choppier with that new tropical wave approaching the uh, Caribbean or uh, the eastern Caribbean today. It's kind of already moved in in that blob to the north. Bit of a chop. Seas are going to be building, of course, uh, in the uh, uh, eastern Pacific side as we get toward the end of the week. This is Wednesday and a Thursday, but overall nothing too aggressive. So in Jamaica, we're about half and half the next couple days. Half of us staying dry, half of us getting some of those scattered storms that will be with us and a little bit higher today of a chance. Uh, about a 40% chance across the Cayman Islands, 30% chance tomorrow, 30 to 40% chance Trinidad and Tobago, isolated shower possible in Barbados. You see how the rain chance is kind of small, limited as well in St. Lucia, small chance of rain the next few days in Grenada. That rain chance just not too high right now. We're kind of in between things, 30 to 40% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines and a 30 to 40% chance in Martinique, 20 to 30% chance, that's it in Dominica, mainly dry and a very isolated chance chance of a passing shower in Guadalupe. Swinging to the north, 30% chance Antigua Barbuda, 20% chance tomorrow. Tomorrow we're mainly dry. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat mainly dry the next few days. Anguilla and St. Bart's and a 20 to 30% chance. St. Martin, Sabe and Stacia. Scattered storms to isolate at the next few days in Puerto Rico. Again, a few of those could be on the strong side. 20 to 30% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands and a 30 to 40% chance across the Bahamas. A couple spots body showers possible. 20% chance in the Turks and Caicos through midweek and watching out for the storms about half and half in the Dominican Republic. With that, some of those could be quite strong, watching the river crossings, the uh, dangerous runoff, and again in Haiti, about a 30 to 40% chance. So some of us staying dry, but others getting uh, uh, dumped on with the rain. Uh, you get over toward uh, Jacques Mel. We may stay on the dry side north. You get toward uh, Port-au-Prince, better chance of getting some of the rain. 40% chance back through Belize, some scattered areas of rain, and a 20% chance in Aruba, and about a 20 to 30% chance Carousel over toward Bonaire. 50 to 60% chance in Guyana of getting rain and a 40 to 50 percent chance back through Suriname. Isolated storms but quite strong eastern end of Cuba. That's where we have a better chance of getting those storms. 80 percent chance Costa Rica and Panama. 70 percent chance mainly eastern Nicaragua the next uh, couple of days. And the rain chance at about 50 percent as we build back through Honduras building through the middle of the week. 50 percent today Guatemala and El Salvador. 70 percent chance by Wednesday. Watching out for some flooding possible near Mexico City and a Again, back toward the west, 40% chance the next couple of days across the Yucatan Peninsula. Building some in northern Colombia by midweek. Same thing as we work our way back through northern Venezuela. And as we swing back through Bermuda, rain chance only about 20%. Keeping an eye on some areas of rain around, but not necessarily uh, moving in. So with that said, we have that strong tropical wave moving off the coast of Africa. I'll monitor for any development and see if it does move closer uh, by later this week, how that flood threat would kind of pan out. I will update that in upcoming videos. Got you covered right here. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a wonderful start to your week.